Hi guys, Larry here. Um, today I'm going to have some fun with Spirit Mage. Um, I did a video with Thunder God earlier walking through all the dungeons and now I'm doing it with Spirit Mage. And I sped it up a little bit because I'm doing a little bit more dungeons than I did with Thunder God. And to be honest, the first dungeons aren't really interesting. Except for, well, Spirit Mage is just annihilating the dungeons. And I don't need to do anything except just drop my spear mage and see everything vanish um, normally with with thunder god i actually drop my hero where i should normally drop the hero but with spear mage i'm not really doing it um, because Spear Mage uh, is a little bit different um, because Spear Mage has her range proc which just can uh, negate any threat actually so that's why I drop a little bit different but as you can see Spear Mage is really powerful at 7 of 9 doing dungeons in her own and this dungeon is where I drop my spirit mage right here, taking all the aggro and dropping guardian angel. Why I'm doing that is because when heroes attack spirit mage, spirit mage, her proc loads up a lot faster, meaning she gets at least one or two extra procs off at that moment, um, which is really nice in helping her walk through the dungeon. Um, and at this dungeon. Uh, I'm dropping right here because I don't see a comfortable spot to drop Spear Mage at heroes, so I just want to take them out from a distance. And now I don't even have to use Restoration probably, seeing that she stays out of trouble really nicely. Um, with Thunder God I needed to use Druid a lot earlier, but since Spear Mage doesn't take any aggro from cannons or ground troops, um, I don't need to use Druid until, uh, well, Dungeon Force Call 2, um, which is the last dungeon I did with Thunder God actually, but uh, from there the dungeons become extremely more tough to just solo out. Um, and at this dungeon I use a similar line again, drop my Spear Mage uh, at Heroes and drop my Guardian Angel to load up her proc. Uh, I can't drop at the other side because Executioner just solo Spear Mage for a damn good reason that Executioner stuns Spear Mage and makes it really tough for Spear Mage to stay alive. Um, I think that the Executioner's skill level in the dungeon is about 5 or 6 of 9 maybe so that means that Spirit Mage stays stunned for 2 seconds actually which is uh, probably a bit too much um, this is dungeon 4 skull 2 and this is where I have to drop through it and what I'm doing here again is the known line of dropping guardian angel and Spirit Mage so that Spirit Mage loads up her proc and you can actually see Spear Mage do 3 procs, 4 procs in maybe 15 seconds um, which is a really good example of her loading up her proc really quickly and this also means that um, it's not really necessary to save my spells because Spear Mage is going to survive anyway from there um, why I have to drop Druid here is just because Spear Mage has really tough trouble getting past that first pack of Griffins because those Griffins are with a lot and Spear Mage just can't handle them at all. Um, <laughs> hey boss, Nigga Pro, uh, he was popping up in my chat while I was recording this so. I kindly answered. Uh, Boss Ninja Pro is a really nice dude. He uh, offered me an account to do a giveaway on, and it's not a giveaway you're going to see at the end of this video. Spoiler, spoiler. Um, but I'm going to do another giveaway soon, probably. So, and this is Dungeon Five Skull One, and 
This is actually the usual route you need for this dungeon and the only thing different is that I'm leaving out Thunder God and that's possible because my spirit, my spirit mage is 7 of 9 which is actually incredibly good at, at dungeons just because the fact that you don't need to use Thunder God anymore. Um, you've already seen that in my 2 man dungeon 8 call 11 video probably that Thunder God isn't really needed when your spirit match is that high of a skill and I'm actually not going to get her to 8 of 9 very soon but once I get her to 8 of 9 she probably handles dungeon 8 call 11 with ease too much. But anyway, this is Dungeon 5 Skull 2, and many people mistake this dungeon for the Dungeon 5 Skull 1 1. Um, the difference is this one delivers 17 shards, the other one delivers 16 shards, and the 16 shards is Dungeon 5 Skull 1, and this is Dungeon 5 Skull 2, and this is one is the hard one. Um, the difference is that this dungeon probably needs some kind of snowstorm effect if you don't have high level heroes like me. Um, but I'm just going to do this uh, two man. I'm dropping Druid and Spear Mage right on top, right there, and just praying for Spear Mage to proc on the heroes, uh, especially Ninja and Spear Mage. Um, Succubus would be nice to proc on too, but. A little bit less of a hurry because Spirit Mage doesn't take of Succubus doesn't take down Spirit Mage that quick. Um, but I'm now using Guardian Angel right here and Ars Frenzy with it because I want Ninja to die really quickly and I rather have Spirit Mage uh, take a little bit more speed and just proc a little bit more, especially when Succubus and Spirit Mage uh, aggro it right there and I had to use Restoration 2 to keep Spirit Mage alive, but that's no problem, I used ATK worth of spells, but I did the dungeon with Spirit Mage and Druid, um, Druid actually only being there for the heals this time. Um, and I might even got close without Druid, but rather not take the risk. Um, so this is Dungeon 6 call 1 I'm doing here, and this one is really tough for most people. And um, personally, I skipped this. I didn't do this one too much because it would take me either a lot of spells or I would risk losing one of my heroes, and I rather farm. Dungeon 5 skull 1 than this one and after a while I just skipped over to Dungeon 6 skull 11, Dungeon 8 skull 11 which is a lot easier but with Druid and Spear Mage this one actually was easier than I expected it to be because what happens is I can let Druid just die right there because it doesn't matter, Druid heals Spear Mage a few times and from there I only need to worry about getting Spirit Mage through Champ right there, which is actually a tough task because Champ didn't die quick enough, but Spirit Mage already took out the opposing Spirit Mage and Succubus with her proc, and probably is now going to take out Ninja and Druid with her proc, um, and then the rest of the towers are too spread to actually uh, bring Spirit Mage in danger, as you can see. Um, Spear Mage isn't taking much damage from that arrow tower and the arrow towers are now almost gone just because of Spear Mage proc. Um, which is why I love her being 7 of 9 because that's a damn lot of damage she does uh, to those towers. Um, and as you can see she slowly wanders to the last tower and probably is just taking it out. Um, just before dying. So this is the last dungeon I'm going to do. I'm going to do dungeon... Which dungeon was I going to do actually? Dungeon 6? Skull 2 this is I think? Yes, I'm going to do this one and I'm dropping uh, from the farthest point and I'm dropping Spear Mage right here to take aggro from 
the dragons and the shotgun dwarves, and then druid to take aggro from the savage ogres. And druid taking aggro from the savage ogres means that druid is going to heal a bit more, meaning spirit mage stays alive a lot easier. And from there it's just uh, praying spirit mage to proc on the heroes, as it actually always is. It's just about that and it's not like Thunder God that you actually have to pray for once and if he doesn't hit the heroes you can quit because Spear Mage will actually be able to proc on the heroes later too and uh, or see hits the heroes once and then doesn't hit the heroes anymore but weird enough Thunder God always stays on his focus which Spear Mage doesn't really but as you can see it's going quite alright now so I don't have to worry about anything and it seems like I can actually save my restoration and my harsh frenzy and don't need to use it. So I'm not going to try dungeon I'm not going to record Dungeon 6 Call 3 because I tried it a few times with only Druid and Spear Mage and I didn't find a line which would work so probably when they both reach 8 stars but no no. So let's go over to the better stuff. Um, I haven't done a giveaway in a while but I'm going to do right now and uh, this account has Paladin and Succubus and it's not too great but Paladin has 3 of 9 Defined Shield which actually is the deal because that means about 500, uh, 600 shards free in Paladin and we're having 2 of 9 Death Flash on Succubus um, so it's not a great account it, it doesn't have Druid, of course it doesn't have Druid um, but um, Paladin offers you the possibility to really farm well, Succubus offers you the possibility to go well in Arena, get some hero on a badges, and moreover I got a couple of elites being Pain out with a 2 on 5 heavy blow and Werewolf with a 1 on 5 heavy blow which I'm going to show in a second, which means that even on boss you can have this slight chance of actually doing damage because your executioner has revive and that means you can drop executioner drop the rest hope for a heavy blow hit and once executioner dies you can leave and try it again and get some damage in and it actually is a good team to really do some damage against the boss um, but I'm not going to eat the rest of the heroes because I want you to choose which elites and if you are going to use Angel or not. Um, it is a full starter account, it doesn't have a name, it has 7k honor badges being from earlier maintenances and such. Um, so here's how to win it. What I'm going to ask you is make sure that I get more subscribers and how I'm going to stimulate you that by winning this account is the guild that represents the most comments is uh, getting one of his members that commented uh, get the account chosen at random of course so you just need to comment your guild and that makes sure that uh, you are in for uh, competition and that also means that when you make sure your guild posts more comments on these videos of course uh, each person only once and also add your in-game name please um, just make sure that your guild posts the most comments and then you make a chance to win the account this way you're not only helping me, but you're also helping your guild by one making sure that they know me and they can watch my videos because of course they're maybe not the most helpful but they are insightful and two you're making sure that uh, your guild makes a chance to win this double legendary account being great starter account except for not having drew it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, be sure to share and subscribe and of course stay zen.